Hi guys! Welcome back to the channel. So, we've got a food video again. Mm. And these are becoming increasingly harder to film because it's so hard to get snacks from around the world. Yeah, and the company, well, the stuff we were getting, they keep sending us random stuff, not specific of a country, which is kind of hard. So, in today's video, we're going to be trying snacks from multiple countries Everywhere. again. Yeah. <laughs> Um, but to be fair, there's really like one one thing that I have tried previously. So I mean, great way to try new snacks yeah, again. Stuff from Korea, Japan, Germany, Spain, Austria. There's a whole load. India, you name it, we got it. You're going to see it. That's India. That's India. Okay. <laughs> um, so yeah guys, let's just get straight into the video. Don't even need to introduce Craig anymore because he's just a relevant part of this channel now. Is he irrelevant? No, relevant. Wow. Um, so yeah, let's get straight into trying all these yummy snacks. Okay, up first we're going to go in with Craig's favourite, a chocolate wafer bar. If you watch any of the other videos, you know Craig feels quite always wafers. wafers. I think this is the only one though. Yeah, so actually with Sam, there's only one thing we've tried before, but this Ion Bar is something that brings back a memory. However, we have not tried the strawberry version. I can't remember. So we think this is from Greece. It is from Greece. Mm. Oh, it smells like colourful. Oh. Mm. But in a nice way. Oh, what? Smell it. Oh. Oh, I just follow this, actually. I thought you won't be the boy that I Half your hands, half your hands. This looks like this inside, guys. It's just literally like a wafer bar in the shopper. Hang on, but it's white in the middle. There is kind of pink, but it's But in the pale. picture, in the picture, it's really pink. But it's um, amazing. Amazing. No, it's not bad. What? No, I think that's amazing. That's all right. There's no place in them. That is decent. That is decent. So basically it was a chocolate covered wafer with a strawberry at the center. I'm going to go in and rate this an 8 out of 10. An 8? Uh, I give it a 7. An 8 or 7. Well, whatever. Up next we've got a little sweetie burger. So do you know like those little sweetie burgers you get? But this one says... <laughs> We have them in the UK. Really descriptive. You know, this one says ketchup like liquid filled and it's finny. And if you know me, you know I love a finny sweet. They are nice. Um, oh, it's a toxic colour. Mm. the heck? Very natural looking. Uh, Do you know what? I just try it. There's no way we'll bite that in half. I will bite it in half. I don't know if it's a ketchup before I show it. That's what it tastes like. Ketchup in the middle. Is it chewing gum? Oh. You're joking. It's also gluten free. Though, I can tell Finny made that's got a nice taste. Yeah, but why make it look like a burger? I don't really understand that. It's mm. like that kid chewing gum though, guys. It's round with your numbers. Yeah, the taste is really gone. And he stopped staring at me with little things in it. <laughs> You're like... Anyway... Oh, it's hard to rate that though then. Yeah, it's... Uh, I'd give that a 2 out of 10. Oh, 2. Not that bad. It is, yeah. Say, so, I rate the hamburger trim up 4 out of 10. Oh, well, that's probably 3 anyway, not where it's sitting. So also, does, you think that's from Spain? Spain? It says it's Sp yeah, it says Spain. Oh. Okay, up next we've got a little savoury snack that is called... Oh, oh. snack! And they look like onion puffs. Onion puffs. Because there's onion, spring onion, and chive. It's onion and chive. Sour cream and chive. Sour cream and chive. Oh. Oh. <gasps> <laughs> oh They're like puffs. Nice. You know, like sugar puffs. Oh, what? Put your hand out. Wait to see. It's like Sorry, sugar. Sorry, rubbing my eye. I'm not really. Oh, they are like sugar puffs. Look. Can you show them? Wow. Yeah, I like sugar puffs. Oh wow. Oh. They're soft, but nice. They're meant to be like that, but they kind of have that consistency like they've, like they've gone off. They're really flavoursome. Like, like they, 
The like, consistency of crisps that air has got to. Mm -hmm. They have that weird sugar puff aftertaste. Mm -hmm. They're from Lithuania. Oh. I knew that from when I'd done my Lithuanian GCSE. <laughs> That's a really nice savoury snack, I'll be honest. I yeah. think it's Salty, great. wheat with sour cream taste and onion. Mm. What a weird way of putting it. Well, there we go. How are you eating it? Uh, six. Oh, seven. <sighs> Now these look interesting, right? Tango chewables. So I'm assuming if you're from the UK, they're going to be like chew it's, but this is their version. These are American apparently. Yeah, they scream America. America! <laughs> so that means, that, face. that means they're going to be like, because American chew it's are way better than ours. I remember the fruit pastels. Ooh. Oh, these are big. What one are you having? Um, I'll go in with apple. Blue raspberry. Why oh, is blue raspberry such flavor. a flavour? Not too harsh. Oh, they're hard. Mm. It has um, brilliant blue and carmine. Are those not the food dyes that make kids go insane? Well, well, the apple is like kind of sour. I'm going to try the cherry now. Mine kind of tasted like floor cleaner. Oh, the cherry's disappointing. The apple is good. Yeah. It's weird that these are American though, because it's tango. And tango is a British thing. Anyway, Whatever. how are you rating them? Uh, three. I'm gonna say four. Sweeties goes, I was not impressed. And you know guys, I'm a sweetie kind of gal. Oh, I like it tango. Next up we have Jojo Jautike Jautike. Yes, beautifully said. Where are they from? They look Dutch to me. Yeah, I'm Slovenia. How do you? Where are you reading these words? Because uh, uh, well, I'm. It says Sloven Slovenia. It has to be Slovenia, surely. They look great. They also kind of resemble jelly tots, which I'm a huge fan of. Oh, they smell like a, oh a sweet shop. <laughs> smell that. Oh oh. Oh, 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 they do smell good actually. It's so juicy. Oh. 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 I thought they were like jelly sweets, but they'd sort of just crumble. Like sugar. They just sort of crumble apart. Oh, like pure sugar. Oh, no, not. I quite like them. They are so sweet, though. Oh. Not for me, I'd eat a lot of them. Are they Slovenian? There's the vodka. Oh, slow. Second guess him. Yeah, slow hmm. vodka candy. Yeah, they candy. Is this strawberry candy with a hard art of shell and softer center? But I just find them like pure sugar, like little balls of sugar. And I used to like them. They're quite nice, I like them. Yeah, yeah you, you're biting them thinking. Like jelly nearly. I wonder if I can kind of show it. If I kind of just break this apart. No, it doesn't really. See, look, that looks like jelly inside. It doesn't taste. It's just, it's just malt. I don't know if that's focus in there. But it's like gooey inside. Mm. Very strange. It's a nice taste, don't get me wrong. I like the taste of the sweet. It's my favourite thing so far. Uh, away on. Away on? Are you joking me? I would give those eight. Six. I'm gonna finish those later. Never in a million years did I think you'd rate a sweetie higher. I know. Than so up next we have this Orion Cocoa Bar that looks like a coconut chocolate bar. Is I feel like I say that all Like a bounty. Like a bounty. Let's see. So you go ahead and try it. I'm gonna oh, see where it's from. The middle. It's like coconut inside. I'm gonna say. We did try to look these up before we started, but it was kind of difficult and time consuming, so we just gave up. Honey, we did join. Czech Republic. It's got like CZ. Things. Is the first, sorry, carry on. It's got that taste that we don't like. That drink thing. Why has it got that? Oh, man. That's that company again. Czech Republic it was, wasn't it? Because I remember that and that's not a long ago video. We had a video. Whatever it was it Czech Republic? I'm pretty sure. Everything tasted like there was a rum in it. I can't with that, I just can't with yeah, that. Yeah, see I take another bite and hope that it's got the coconut in it. No, oh. no. It's not really like having a brandy coconut bar. Yeah. Tell me not drinkers. We're not drinkers and especially not drinkers of spirits. Oh gosh, me and Chris would be sick. Imagine that as a video. We had to try lots of alcohol. <laughs> wow. I don't drink flavoured things. What a zingy, zingy snappy title. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Some of us where we try lots of alcohol. No, but like, or like loads of alcohol flavored food, me and you would not go. I'm alcohol gonna... mixed with food to us is just, always yeah. horrible. And Same with coffee. That. Coffee and fruit in desserts is generally quite bad. Very rarely would it. Give you our hands, but the bun. <laughs> anyway. Anyway, I'm going to say three. Yeah, I'll give you two. The cups have come out. Just what time is it for? Uh, uh, Fanta melon soda time. Fanta melon soda time. This is from China. Fanta melon soda time. Is uh, it from, from Japan? Oh, sorry. It's from Japan. This is from Japan. Weird. I've had a flashback. Remember that time in Japan, you know, <laughs> in holidays we not like the Phantom Melon out of the machine. Let's see if it's in, in Epcot. In Epcot, is it? Phantom Melon, i the same one? Pretty sure. Do you want to sniff first? I'm not sure. Mm. Oh, Phantom mm. Melon. It smells like grass. Oh my gosh, look at the colour of it. Mmm. Green nice juice. Healthy green Hulk glow. juice. To Japan. Japan. Idio, is it? Idio mass? Idio mass? Is that how you say it? Cheers? Is that even right? Idio mass? I is right. That's probably wrong. I don't think that is one we had in holiday. No, it's nice though. I'm not really sure. I mean, it doesn't taste like melon, but it's nice. Me looking at it. Oh yeah, I'll just read all this Japanese. I, I don't really read it. It's too, no offense, artificial for me. It feels oh, too artificial. Yeah. Too artificial. But oh, I will, saying that, I will say it's not the worst drink I've ever tasted. So I'm going to say a little bit four out of ten. Four. 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 I like it. Scores in the door. So what's yours? Ah, the more I like that, uh, the more I drink it, I like it more. I'm going to give that. A seven. We have a little savoury snack from Portugal, and I, well, I'm assuming it's savoury. Kind of the wheat bakery. It could be sweet. They could, but we've no idea. They look like this, however. They're in the savoury pile. We kind of roughly organise things into crisps, chocolate, sweets, so we're hoping they're savoury. They could be wrong. Savoury. Mmm. Kind of like bread or something. <laughs> mm, bread. I like transfers, so yeah, I just jump in. <gasps> like smoky bacon, salty crisps, salty bread bites. I don't know. Bacon, bread. They're, it's almost hollow. Yeah. Like, I know there's a hole in that one, but like, there's like not much to them. They're like little bits of bread, aren't they? They're like, they're so salty, wow. Like salty breadstick bites. With a little hint of bacon. And the guys seem to be getting bacon. You don't get the bacon? No. Oh. Oh. You got the bacon? Mmm. Well, there you go. Now I'm getting a big handful of them. Oh, so I yeah. do get bacon. Tell ya. I'm just trying to look up if there's. No, this is saying they're from Brazil. Well. We searched this brand. And Vale de Prata come up in Portugal, so we just assume they're Portuguese. Oh, they're Brazilian? Oh, well, bloody hell. Find yeah, product of Brazil. It is, it is also in Portugal. Oh. They're so. Well, that makes sense. Yeah. I can't find out. I just wanted to know what they were. Okay, so I don't really know what they are. They're like little bready stick Your bites. Bacon dipped breadstick bite things. I'm going to say five. I don't hate them, I don't love them, middle of the ground. Yeah, I think five's fair. We have fruity, fruities. Fruity. Fruities. They're, um, they're from Tootsie, Tootsie Roll. Oh, so they're American. Tootsie Roll make them. Now, the Tootsie Roll's the, like, chocolate flavoured, like, I don't know what to call it. It's not meant to be like that, does it? Yeah? Yeah, that's all over it. Oh, it's mad. Looks like you've got bleach down your <laughs> <laughs> Tootsie Roll is the chocolate flavoured. Oh, bloody hell! <laughs> Tootsie Roll. Tootsie Roll is the chocolate flavoured. Um, Sweetie. No, what's called the stuff? Taffy. It's like a taffy oh, consistency, that's right, but it's yeah. like chocolate flavoured. So these are blue raspberry and green apple. What one? But this is like a chocolate. Uh, chocolate. Oh. Not the uh, sweetie version, basically. Yeah. Artificially flavoured. I'd expect nothing less. Do they look like this, guys? Blue raspberry again. No, I can get on board with these. 
Yeah, that's nice. Mm -hmm. See, that's blue raspberry, but the tango ones are horrible, but that was nice. What's the other one? Green apple. Mm. Blue raspberry. Beer. I don't get why blue for raspberry. Mm. Why is raspberry always get associated with blue when they're not blue? It's like weird. I don't understand it. They're nice. They're kind of like the consistency of Laffy Taffy, and that's why I like them. Mm. Ah, I don't know if they have a almond punch. Yeah, the blue one is better. Yeah. I'm going to say an eight, you know. Oh, Jesus, don't go that high. Oh, Jesus, sorry. Just I know. I give it six. Eight, really? I don't know. I don't like about it. Mm. One, no. In the middle then. Because I said six, you said eight. Yeah, oh, yeah. Seven, yeah. I cannot break. Hold on, I think that was lost. Alright, hold on. You were fine, you did it. <laughs> 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 okay, <laughs> sorry, it was just, uh, <laughs> just Halloween moment. Halloween fake, I'm gonna not gonna be able to get through this. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, next we have Canopas. <laughs> so, we have said it probably these been advert in the UK years ago, and he said Canopas. Back when we had Canopas, and now we no longer have Canopas. And these are from Poland. Ooh, it looks like a caramelly wafery bar. Yeah, it's a little yeah, bit yeah. of nugget. 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 Mm. Doesn't even really be good actually. Yeah, it's got so. Just take a bite out of it, you mean yeah. Oh wow, look at the layers, guys. There is a great many layers, isn't that? Is it nice? Beautiful. Not what I was expecting from a wafer. They know how to do a wafer. Tastes like a Snickers. Mm. Just caramel, peanut, chocolate, and then a wafer layer, and then a nougat layer, and then a wafer layer. It is nice. I think it's really nice. Yeah, it's solid. I pick that up. Mm, I'll give it a 7 out of 10. Oh, that's too good. I'm going to say 9. Full and bringing out the snack. Highest rating of the day. Okay, we have a little snack from Korea next called Marine Boy and these have a picture of seaweed on the front so I think they're seaweed crackers mm. but interestingly on the side it says <laughs> Warning, consuming this product can expose you to chemicals including isolamide which is known in the state of California to cause cancer and birth defects <laughs> Activities! I'm really struggling to open that. Well, to open that. There's also like a random bingo game <laughs> in the packaging. Wow, they're like little fish coming. Little seaweed fish. Smell. Well, they smell alright. Why is there a thing that causes cancer in these? Oh, these are weird. Like, are they hollow? Look, guys, little dolphins. Can you see that? There's like a dolphin. An octopus, other types of fish that I couldn't possibly know. That one has a crown on it. Holy heck, they're lovely. Wow. Oh my god, they're so good. <laughs> they're like really hollow but really lovely. They taste like those ketchup flavoured crisps. Yeah, they taste like prawn cocktail. That's a shame that we're not going to die. <laughs> they're lovely. Oh moly, I'd eat those all the time. They are like one of the best crisp type things I've ever eaten. I'm going to say mm, a 10. Well, I want to give a 10 first. Oh, I'm sorry, <laughs> you pretend I don't give. What do you want to give? I'll them? give it a 10. Oh, funny, I was going to say 10 too. <laughs> <laughs> right, next up we have these things called little hearts and these are from India. So they look like little biscuits. It says you and me and our little hearts. Oh, honey, that's so adorable. <laughs> None of the packets can have been that way. You a funny little face, right? Oh my gosh, they smell like good in my oats. I imagine these are going to be like cinnamon, you know? Mm. They look like um, little pastries. They do, ready? Oh. Mmm. 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 Oh, they're lovely. The company that makes them is called Britannia. I don't know how to describe them though. Yeah.
They're like Danish pastry, it's like tiny but really dried out like a but, crisp. But kind of like a biscuit. No. How do you rate them? I would rate these. They're so weird, it's like like a Danish meta biscuit. That's how I'll describe it. And they taste savory and sweet. Yeah, but they're really, they're like Moorish or something. No. I'm gonna say an eight, you know. Yeah, I don't know, I don't know if I'd like them. I don't know. Oh, how many do you like them when you're eating them? You'd know if you don't like them. No, but like. Would you pick them up again? No, I don't think so. Mm, okay then. Well, that you're really. I'm a six. Okay, that's fine. We have this little cute sweetie man called Zuzuli Mousse. Zuzuli, I think it's called, and it's like these little sweets which feel hard, kind of like orange fizzy sweets. They look like those two sweets. Oh, and these are also from Poland. Oh. Oh, I'll take that one. Yeah, one. Yeah, so they're like little hard candies, basically. No. It looks like a sherbet lemon, but obviously more orange instead. Mmm. But... Mm. Oh. I got a sherbet in them. That's nice, though. Mmm. Yeah, it's okay. It's like a sherbet orange, sweetie. It's not really my thing. No. But I appreciate why someone would like them. I'll say a five because a hard sweet is not my thing either. But yeah, that's a good for everyone. Five for the Poland sweets. Right. So next thing we have is an Italian drink called San Benedito. Yeah. And then, well, we're assuming this is peach and mint. Did you say? Yeah, I think there's a wee mint. There's like a pinch, a, a pinch, a pinch, a pinch leaf. <laughs> A pinch leaf, a pin, a pin, oh. It's a piece of peach and a mint leaf. <laughs> yeah, whatever. <laughs> I think we're gonna like this. Oh. And where is it from? Italy. Did I not say that? I'm not sure. Oh, well, Italy. In case you didn't. Oh, it smells great. Oh, that is it awesome. smells like iced tea. It smells like peach iced tea. That is awesome, a drink. It's not fizzy. Oh, yeah. Maybe it is. It's like funny because it's in a can, we just assume it's gonna be fizzy. Let's cheers to Italy. Oh, a bit strange on that. Nice though. Why didn't that wear ice cubes? That's nice, that. Although, I don't know if I can really drop the mint out of it though. I don't know what the mint If it is mint, isn't it mint? Yeah, I can taste the mint. Yeah, I like that. I prefer it to the other drink. I it's would... funny having a non carbonated drink in a can. Yeah, it's not something you have very often, is it? <laughs> Excuse me. I would rate that a nine. I would have some more. Um, I would give it a seven. I think if it didn't have mint in it, it'd be nice. Even though I like mint in drinks. Do you know where uh, this is? That from? is from. Yeah. So this looks like a bit of me because if you know me, I. Fond girl of banana. <laughs> I love a banana. No, nah, I love a banana. Uh, it looks like it a looks banana. It looks like a banana in <laughs> chocolate. Or just stick it in the bowl. <laughs> oh, big stuff. Unreal. Mm. It's like banana jelly. Oh, wow. And dark chocolate, guys. Oh, that's such a weird consistency. It's jelly. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> You can have a rest of it. Mmm. Oh, not a fan of that. Mmm. I like synthetic sweet banana taste and I like the taste of it. But the consistency is so mm. strange. If it was thicker, if it, the, the banana bit was thicker, I think it would be nicer. That was just a bit weird. I would give that a five. Eight. Eight. Mm -hmm. No, hold on. Nine. 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 So, Pata Swiss brings you tasty snacks to improve your daily pleasure. Okay. Wow. So these are smoking the barbecue flavoured chickpea puffs. We've actually tried these before. Oh, yeah. In our big Turkish haul. Mm. I'll link okay. that down below. I'll say that. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah, you remember them. Oh, wow, they smell like a fireplace. <laughs> Don't they? I get it, like old folks home. Old folks home, sorry. <laughs> There's no context to that. Like she means old. the old... Um, like old oh, fashioned house, Pete house. Yeah, but not, you said old folks home. It's old folks museum. The Offset American folk, folk Park is what you mean. Not an old folks home, like, a, like an old people's home. It feels like chimney. <laughs> I 
Are they in date? They are. They're weird. Did we like these last time? Maybe we didn't have them. They're really hard. They're very hard. Oh, they're really like smoke. They're barbecue ingredients, chickpea puffs. Chickpea flour, pea flour, smoke barbecue flavor. They look soft, like they should be like a, a what's it, but they're, or a Cheeto, but they're kind of hard. I'm not really feeling the taste of them either. They're kind of smoky, like like wood, like chip wood in the burner. Smoky. Simply three, three, like three ingredients, is that? Oh. I guess these are like a healthy, like a healthier option. They're not bad. I'm just gonna say five. Yeah, I'll give them five as well. Not really feeling not feeling them. Okay guys, up next we've got two oh, little course. biscuits called biscatello. And these are from Greece. How'd you say it? And they're made by Papa Doppelopolis. <laughs> Papa Doppelopolis. Papa Doppelopolis. Papa Doppelopolis. They look like little chocolate sandwich cream biscuits. They look like ornate, ornate Oreos. Oh, they're beautiful. What are we beauty? Oh, it's Greek. Oh, so. That's the uh, Greek side, and then that's the. Oh, that's so clever! Oh, you should have. That's so clever. Mm. Exactly what I imagined. Beautiful. It's like um, Oreo and Biscoff just kind of combined it. Mm. What do you give uh, your Papadopoulos Biscatello? Seven. I'll give it a six. So next up we have Tango Tiny Tangs. What are they called? Tiny Tangs. These are like the nerds, the Wonka nerd things. Oh, there's two openings. Are you going to go for the blue side? Cherry or blue raspberry? Blue raspberry. Go press, blue raspberry. Press here though. Oh, we'll do both. Yeah, I know that. These are like nerds, would be nice. Mm. Not exactly. Oh. Not as bitter as nerds as Winky, but nerds. Nerds are way better. Can you just show them in there? Can, can they see in there? Can you see in there? Maybe. And <laughs> um, we'll try the other side. Sure. It also says press here, and it's a tiny little hole, and I can't physically get my finger through that hole. But you probably would never be picking those up, so I decided to try them too. Oh, sorry. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Moses. Oh, they were oh. one, eh? Oh, oh the shakers. Oh, oh, God. Oh, I'm ruining everything. Mm. It kind of tastes like kids' perfume. They're not good. Yeah. They're a poor attempt at nerds. Nerds are way better. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to say four. Yeah, I think four as well. We have got a little... Italian bakery good called a Cambella Cocca. It's like a donut. Looks like a donut. Just, a cheap, just to cheapen it completely. <gasps> oh. Is that one of those Jaffa cake things? Oh yeah. No, do I break it now? Yeah, sure. Oh, it's very sticky. How many you have to Stick. Oh, it's like filled or something. I don't know. I'm getting a filling. Right there and there. Oh. The foot will choose a big thing of filling, but I got a tiny amount. I think it is. Oh, that. Is it nice? That's the filling I got. <laughs> That's the filling on the foot. You like it a bit? No, it's fine. It's mad that in my half there was none. Mm. Oh, I like that. I'm going to say seven. It's alright, I'll give it six. It was like a bakery good. Like a, it was like a donut with slight chocolate in the middle. Mm. No, not donut, more like a a muffiny donut. It was like a prepackaged cupcake kind of thing. Yeah. What like those fabulous bacon boys ones. Yeah. Uh, six. What did I say? Six. What did you say? Seven. Yeah, I'm going to yes. Right, we've got a little crisp from Poland. We're whipping out the lace. So I feel like we've had Poland the most. Yeah. That's like the third thing, was it? Yeah. Um. So these are... Deep ridged paprika flavoured crisps. Well, we have Walker's Max, so this is the same kind of concept. Well, so paprika's not a flavour we get here, but in other countries it is. Very rare, it's only mixed with something else. Yeah. 
Mm, it smell okay. It doesn't smell as fierce as I thought. We notice this globally with crisps, they oversell flavour. Especially cheese, and sometimes this is really cheesy, but they really is. Oh, I got a really good flavour from though. Do you know what it is? They're flavoured fine, but Oops. we don't really rate the pizza as a flavour on its own. And I think that's what it is to us, it feels mild. Nothing wrong with them. No. How would you rate them? Mm. It's hard because they were Moorish. 7 out of 10. Mm. Mm. <laughs> ah, 7 too. Right, we've got another little sweetie, the penultimate product. We've got Vidal Strawberry and Cream Drops. These look like Craigie's dream of a sweet. Good. These little characters look horrible though. They look like teeth. They look like something here though. They look like candy corns. Oh, that looks chewy. Uh, I like marshmallow. Yeah. I thought they'd be that. I don't know what consistency, like a harder consistency, I guess. I don't know what I was thinking of it. Oh, that's kind of disappointing. I would rate those six. I would rate those six. Can you believe the sweets aren't coming through for me today? Mm -hmm. Last but not least, we've got this amazing looking chocolate bar called Wowl Toffee. And this is a Polish chocolate bar. Oh, another, another notch for Poland. That's like four things now. I know, I know what? I've actually always wanted to have a Polish snack box, so we've tried it. Nope. Oh, oh, no, not have it. Nope. So guys, oh, it's it dark chocolate like... though. Stop slagging it. And then inside, oh, we've got lovely caramel. It does look, oh, look at that. Mm -hmm. Oh. Look at that. Oh, yum. Yeah. I haven't got that drink to taste. Oh, it's fucking horrible. <laughs> oh, uh. <laughs> It's that actually got drink in it this it's time. It's that horrible wrong place to go. It's like, no, that one's got real drink in it. It's oh, good. it's so bad. Why is the end of this? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so... Oh, it's a tax isn't it? There has to be rum in that. Holy moly. Oh, it, I'll be right a... back. I need a drink. You actually feel it like burn your throat very slightly. That is rank. We left that to last, thinking that the caramel would be lovely to end with. Something talk, I don't know. Oh. Nope. There's no Glucose one. syrup alcohol. Oh. Advocate. Is that a drink? Advocate. Advocate. Advocate filling. Advocate. Advocate is the alcohol made with egg. Isn't it? Isn't it? Hey. No, wait, what? Alexa, what's Advoca? Um, yeah, well, there you go. Boozy chocolate to end with. Fantastic. What a way to end it. One then. out of ten. So, yeah, I agree. One out of ten. But I mean, it's unfair because we just don't like it that is. taste. If that, if that had potential, if it The consistency just... of it and the goodness of it looked great. It did. It just, once we put that in our mouths and we could taste the alcohol, that rummy brandy taste just hits you in little waves. Oh, oh my gosh, so that was definitely our least rated product. Disgusting! So now we will do our top products of the video. A few moments later. You might hear Benny sleeping in the background. As I always say to you guys, would it be my video if he wasn't in the background sleeping? I wonder if does it, would it pick it up? Uh-huh. Oh. oh. It was, every time we wait, it's just a little time. Anyway. Anyway, top three products mm. of this video. I'm going to go in with the Slovakian, wasn't it? So in third place for me was the chocolate banana bar. Mm. I just like the texture. I like bananas. I like dark chocolate with bananas. Recommend to a friend. It's last name. Number two, the Polish bar mm. with the wafer and the nuts and banana the caramel. Bar. Wonderful. And in top position, we're going to give the top prize to Marine Boy, which were the Swedish. The cancer, in, the cancer inducing uh, seaweed biscuits. Seaweed biscuits. Seaweed crackers. So these were from Korea. So yeah, that was my top three in Um, 
And then my top three would be, these would be three, I think, the little sugary. Bites of sugar. Sugar. And then, I guess that Canopas bar. The Canopas bar, and then my number one would be Marine Boy too. There's lots of things I like, but they're all kind of like seven, eight bracket. Yeah, there's a lot of seven and eights. Overall, pretty good box. Again, it's just nice yeah. to try snacks from different countries. Mm -hmm. And if you guys know of any places that do this type of thing, mm -hmm. please let me know because we struggle to find. It's really hard um, to find because mm -hmm. some of the companies that do it are awful. Yeah. And also, some of them are like based in different places and they just don't deliver to us, or we then find that there's some people that do do it, but they're delivering like multiple, like this one where it's like multiple countries, which is fine, but we'd rather just do one country. We also have the added issue of being in Northern Ireland. Yes. Sometimes they'll deliver to the UK, but they won't deliver to Northern Ireland because we're not part of the UK mainland. Yeah, so it's a bit frustrating. But they'll deliver it across the world, but they won't then deliver it across a little small body of water between us and them. <laughs> But yeah guys, so um, yeah, good box overall and we enjoyed trying all the snacks. Hopefully you guys enjoyed seeing it and if you did, don't forget to give the video a big thumbs up and I would really, really, really appreciate it if you could come and join my little YouTube family. Um, can we get my words out there? But yeah guys, I'm sending love and positivity to each and every one of you. Thank you so much as always for watching and I appreciate every single one of you. So with that being said, we're off and I will catch you in the next one. Love you so much. Bye! Bye! To follow my camping channel. Greg says if you want to see him follow his camping channel, I'll link it below.